going on walk with my parents the other day and we came across this shop that sold a lot of American stuff. There's one thing that comes is this, a teddy bear making kit. Now I am not much of a sewer, uh, I've never been much of a crocheter, a stitcher, whatever you call it. But this little guy spoke to me, I could see it in his eyes, he wanted me to take him home and construct him like a Frankenstein. And who was I to deny that? So this is eight and above, which is a bit of a challenge. You know, I was quite intimidated when I saw that for the first time. Usually, I can handle things that are three and a, two and above, okay? Those basic stuff. I'm 17 years old. As someone who got straight A's in IGCSE exam, wow! I think that I need a knife. I think that I am fully capable of following this. This picture is giving me doubts. It looks like the teddy bear combusted into tiny little pieces. Here's what the insides look like. Wait, huh? Can eight-year-olds even hold like a needle? Can they even read? Why is this in another language? Okay, we have a leg. We have an ear. This is a kidney. Poker! Bo the body. The other foot. The third foot. Okay, what are you? You got that monstrosity. This is the arm. It kind of looks like a boob. Okay, does it, it does not look like a boob. I should know. I've, I've seen a lot of boobs in my life. Lady. <laughs> Another boobie. Okay, what are you? What is this game of match the freaking continents? One, two, three. Three legs? Where did the other leg go? Alright. It appears we are missing some vital body part. Oh my god, they didn't give enough parts. This is a scam! It's shedding everywhere. Maybe I need to like piece together all these little bits to form the parts I'm missing. Yeah, I'm gonna complain to my mom for a second. Wait, I don't have videographic proof that they found it. I can't Wait! Is this the missing leg? It's been under my ass the entire time. One, two. Oh my god, it is. <laughs> Make sure you sew from the reverse side unless told otherwise and always use backstitch. What is backstitch? My credentials for sewing is that. I, uh, the only time I ever sewed was I made my own Halloween costume. My parents held a Halloween party and I made my vampire dress out of garbage bags. I did not win. My parents created the contest and I did not win. <laughs> no nepotism here, baby. Come on. Come on. Go into the hole. Ten seconds later. That's what she said, haha. <laughs> oh, okay, teach. This is back stitching. Thank you, that does not help me whatsoever. I am an innovator, an entrepreneur. I don't do things by the book. I suffer and then regret it later. My name is Valentine. I am the future of this generation. Oh, that's kind of ugly. Whee! I feel that I've done something wrong here. Alright, you're coming with me, Buckaroo. <laughs> We're going shopping. Okay, so I've done it. Like, you can see the little stitches. This part was a bit of an anomaly. I don't know how I managed to do that. Can't dwell on your failures. You just have to keep going. Improvise. Think outside the box. It's about... Drive, it's about power, we stay hungry. Just follow the instructions. It'll be easy. Is this still recording? Well, unfortunately so. My mom told me that I should probably be done with this within an hour. <laughs> it's almost like she doesn't even know me anymore. Oh, hey! This is good! Well, well, well. <laughs> Looks like these eight-year-olds have got nothing on me. 
Yeah, this is a teddy bear's head. I did it. It was me. Oh, okay, I have to fill with stuffing, which is the part I'm excited about. Oh, this is fun. Oh, Americans. Oh, no, it's okay. It's becoming triangle. How? Why? It's a triangle now. I have noticed the issue. This is the size of the ear. And this is the size of the head. Let me look at the box again. Maybe this bear just has big ears. Definitely not. Okay, second ear done. So the ears onto the side of the head. How? It doesn't even look like ears. It's just a whole hash brown. Surely I am not going to get outsmarted by a piece of cloth. I'm sweating shit. That's the ear. I don't know what happened, but something did, and now the ear is part of the face anatomy. It's kind of protruding out, like a tumor more than an ear, but it exists. Yeah, I can't you Yeah. Place the nose and eyes in the correct position and seal them in place by attaching the nuts on the inside. An adult may need to help you with this part. I think an adult has to help me with every part. I'm one year away from being the adult. The nuts. What nuts? Because right now, what I'm thinking is that these things have quite sharp edges. So an easy solution is to just... Damn it! Oh, my sewing is too good. It's not allowing me to penetrate the skin. Well, see, I think that we were supposed to have a hole, a hole to go into the head from, but we don't because I sewed it short. I can penetrate skin if I want to. Oh, this should not be this difficult. This is for children. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. All right, all right. Things are looking up. I'm starting to understand basic instructions. I can be a functioning member of society again. Imagine if this video is the reason my college application gets denied. Oh, that's, this is kind of hard to penetrate through. Okay, all right. I see you. I wish I didn't, but I see you. How is an eight-year-old supposed to have enough raw strength? Oh, okay. That was actually kind of easy. Maybe I'm just extremely weak. Holy shit, things are actually like this thing up. It's actually kind of simple. I understand now. I have messed up. See, listen, I may not be good at a lot of things, but sewing is also one of them. If I was in the Toy Story universe, I think all my toys would have teamed together to kill me right now. You may be wondering, Feline, where did you get all this talent from? I'm afraid it's something I was simply born with. Hell yeah! Look, a little sucky. It's time to turn the second hand around. You are being birthed! Get out! You goddamn fetus. Interesting. Guess who ran out of storage on their phone? And I'm using an iPad to film now. We've done two of the hands. We've done the head, unfortunately, and the ears. Their spirit remains. Now all that's left is the legs and the body, which should be simple enough. Making sure to pinch the fabric from inside. What? Like that? What? Oh, say, can you see? By the dawn's early light, I have successfully folded a leg. Wait a second. Please don't tell me I folded this the wrong way again. I sewed this the wrong way again. 
Now you may be wondering, is this all worth it? No. 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 Oh no. Our teddy bear. It's broken. Of course! Of course that occurs! What was I expecting? Here is our current situation. This is foot number one. And this is foot number two. Can you tell which one looks better? <laughs> I'm on my joker arc. But we only have the body left and then we're good. Then we just sew it all together and we can all gaze at the final project. Was that door always open? I thought I closed it. Oh, and now I am haunted. Can you wait? I think I've learned a lot from this experience. I've learned how to put a needle in. I've learned how to sew things shut. I've learned resilience. I've learned patience. I've learned to hide my homicidal tendencies. The body has been sewn. Yeah! Now all we have to do is turn it inside out. I have a good feeling about this. I think we've succeeded in something. The body is quite small. <laughs> See, what I'm confused about is that the legs seem a bit... If you look over here, the legs seem a bit short. And if you look over here, these are demonia boots. I'm not going to argue, I'm just going to stuff this. Maybe some affirmations will help. I trust in my ability to make teddy bears. I trust in my ability to follow simple eight-year-old instructions. I understand this looks extremely weird. Warning, small parts, choking hazard. Long cord may present strangulation hazard. I sure do hope so. This is why Skillshare doesn't sponsor me. Why do I have oil paint? We're not even using oil paint. Okay, let us begin. My mom called me to dinner just now, but I said, wait, I am almost done with my legacy. Nothing shall stand in my way. At this point, I really... Well, now you can't breathe. Oh, now you are also blind. While we're doing this, let me just tell you a little thing that I just learned. Did you know about the existence of giant river otters? My friend told me about them, and I couldn't believe that they existed. They're basically like piranhas, but worse, because they can grow up to like, I think, 170 centimeters. There is this clip of them like drowning a monkey and then eating it for their daily nutrients. In a zoo, crocodiles would come across them and the thing they'd do is that they would just jump all over the crocodile and the crocodile would try to swim away but the otters have more energy than them so over time the lactic acid in the crocodile builds up until they just can't swim anymore and then they eat it River otters, when my friend told me that otters were the scariest animals in the world I was like are you sure? The little babies that hold their hand so they don't drift away from each other when they sleep and then I googled giant river otter and holy shit. Now I am an atheist, but God, why? I really wonder what happened to the ears because it's almost like they like disintegrated into the head. <laughs> okay, I don't think, I'm not done yet, but I feel like it's a, uh, the leg is not in the position I had initially wanted it to be in. <laughs> I like how I conveniently left him a butt crack so he can shit naturally. Close it shut. Don't want his leg to fall off now, do we? Though I think that would be kinder. I, I really don't know what went wrong. That's the thing. <laughs> I really don't know where the issue began. It's like I was destined to fail. If all else fails, blame it on your zodiac sign. Sorry, fellas, I'm a Taurus. <laughs> In high school, I was in a club where we would 
design toys and like send them to an orphanage nearby. It was a orphanage for visually impaired kids. But I think even they would be able to see how ugly this is. Oh, I know what this reminds me of now. A voodoo doll that has been shot by multiple cannons. And I'm just going to add the eyes and we will have our final reveal. The woman was too stunned to speak. <laughs> I mean, it's a bit of a disaster. A hot mess without the hot. Oh wait, I forgot the most crucial thing. The ribbon. Ah yes, how could I forget such an essential thing? Oh Jesus, oh no, I'm sorry. There we go. No, he's a refined gentleman. Mm, I want yes, your feedback sorry. on him. <laughs> See, I'm asking for feedback, but all I'm hearing is mocking laughter. First time doing it, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty good for first time. Thank you! Finally! Someone who cares about. <laughs> I tried my best. I accidentally choked him to death, so I loosened it a bit. Where's his other eye? His other eye? Oh, you want to know where his other eye is? I'm sorry, okay. Some people like to decorate their teddy bears differently. Some give their teddy bears cutie marks. I gave my teddy bear a full 360 view of the world. It's just, it's just how it is. Oh shit. <laughs> it's your fault. You were bullying it too much. It looks like if I if I blow on it, it's going to like fall apart. Why would you blow on it? Yeah, it's for hugging. You got them. Because it needs oxygen. How much time did you spend making it? Two hours and a half. No, how did the eye even get like to the other side? Of I it? don't know what happened. It was on this side, but then it fell out, and I couldn't find where I could shove it back in. And then there was a hole at the back. So I put it into the hole at the back. So, Who's that? Ben! Ben, is that you? <laughs> Can I get some feedback on him? <laughs> oh, the eye! <laughs> the eye! <laughs> that that bear looks like it's been played with like a couple hundred cats. <laughs> so it's very well loved. I'm not sure if this was an error on my part, but this is how much stuffing there's left. And I don't know what I don't know what this is, but it looks important. Shit! His eye fell off! Do you know HP Lovecraft? Yes. Stop laughing, man! HP Lovecraft. The what? The the Dunwich horror. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. If that family had a baby shower, I would never think to even bring this teddy pair to that baby shower as gift in fear that my entire generation of family will get cursed by the children <laughs> of young siblings. All the listeners. 
the more you spoke of this uh this HP Lovecraft thing, the less I am able to find the eye I had originally put him in. So now his eye is over here. <laughs> so now his eye is over here. Honestly, this teddy bear could be a HP Lovecraft story. It's an it's endearing. I'm gonna close the recording now. Y'all say bye. I'm not getting the emotional support I need. Bye. Okay. Remember what I've taught you, Quasimodo. You are deformed. I am deformed. And you are ugly. And I am ugly. And these are crimes for which the world shows little pity. You do not comprehend. You are my one defender. Out there, 